It's a story about a man who has a fight with a circus bear. And uh, the, the bear reads his mind and always forestalls any attack that he makes on it. There's absolutely nothing he can do to get past the bear. And so in the same way, you might imagine a guru who is a mind reader and he always knows if you decide before you act and if you do, you see the devil will catch you. Instead, you see of deciding that you won't be an alcoholic anymore. The only thing to do is not to drink without any previous decision on this matter. But how can anyone do that, you see? That's the question. How can I decide not to decide? How can I announce that I won't make any announcement without making an announcement? You see, there is no way out of that bind. Try as you may. You go on and on and on, trying as Herigl did to release the bowstring without thinking first to release it. But then, strangely enough, one day the thing happened. He did it. And this is involved in our learning of almost all techniques that we work and work to achieve that final point of perfection and it doesn't come it doesn't come and then one day it happens now what is the reason for that is it simply and this is really you know the way it's usually explained but this is an oversimplification it is not that we have practiced it so often that it suddenly becomes perfect It is much more subtle than that. What happens is that we've practiced so often that we find out we can't do it. And it happens at the moment you know you can't do it. When you reach a certain point of despair, when you know that you are the one weird child who will never be able to swim, at that moment you're swimming. Because the desperation and the total inability to do it at all has brought you to a point which we might call don't care. You stop trying, you stop not trying, trying to get it that way. You just have arrived at the insight that your decision, your will, doesn't have any part in the thing at all. And that's what you needed to know. You've overcome, you see, the illusion of having a separate ego. There is no way of telling anyone that that's an illusion and getting appropriate action because we are thoroughly indoctrinated with the idea that it's real. And if I say, well, I'm going to get rid of my ego, that's what the Taoists call beating a drum in search of a fugitive. He hears you coming. <laughs> so uh, the, the, the ego, that is to say, the illusion of having a separate will and a separate eye center that can be an effective agent that cannot be overcome by a decision which seems to be centered in the ego. You might as well put out fire with fire. It can come only when an attempt to act from the ego center has been revealed to be completely futile. Then the thing happens.
because you've really discovered that it was, after all, an illusion.